All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Jimmy? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to this literary octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, effective strike there by Gaethje. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gaethje. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Gaethje! And right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond for you. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, to the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. Nice defense there. Huge block. And he landed the right hand there. His leg is hurt here. You can see it. Nice loop with punch. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. Big knee there. Oh, Round two winding down. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the move. All right, with that, we have arrived at our second round. Justin Gaethje versus Dustin Poirier. This is very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Gaethje. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. So we call on the fight stats here. These are unofficial, but strong. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Finish his fight. Throwing that. Oh, he's hurt. here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh! Good 
real nice body kick lands. Right hook to the head block. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. This is a great fight. Big kick land. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go pull out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out there. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover from this. Ever. Fourier's trying to do it. Come on. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high level. Oh. Two, three, two. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Well, most fighters can't keep 